Yeah, how do you write a play about a bridge? I mean, what's a bridge got to say for itself? One of the core things for me is the, the men who work here and always have worked here and have kept it standing for 150 years. I mean, there's a, a huge amount of work in it to start with and still there. Um, because it's 150 years old and because it's, you know, a very precious bridge, not just to us in Bristol, but nationally and to engineers. And when you talk to them, the maintenance guys, the ones who walk around with spanners and screwdrivers or the more sophisticated tools nowadays, um, that's what they call their job, walking the chains. There's a lot of pride in Bristol, I mean, a lot of pride in Bristol in Bristol, but there's a lot of pride in this bridge, which a lot of people would tell you is the icon of this city. Um, you come and look at this bridge, whether you know it or not, or it's brand new to you, and a word that's going to come to your mind is audacity. To even have the idea, let alone carry out, execute the idea of putting that bridge there, at that height. Uh, you think, what an audacious feat. Well, how do you do, how do, you do audacity on stage? Uh, there may be other answers, but the one that came to me and that we're using is you get circus people to do things that make us go wow when we watch them from the audience the things that we've already started to see the circus people we're working with can do but they've got a lot that they haven't shown us yet and I'm looking forward to working with them very much so the, the bridge is identified with this city so anyone who lives in Bristol or loves Bristol I think is is interested in and probably proud of the bridge but beyond that, the first job of any uh, event in a theatre is to entertain. And we've done the work to get enough stories in that we've chosen that we think are entertaining stories to listen to. So it, sh it should, in the end, be something amounting to a celebration of the city of Bristol.